Moving on to the skirt. The skirt was super, super easy. You want to go for the bottom layer two and a half to three times whatever your waist, no, whatever your hips is. I think it's your hips. I'm pretty sure it's your hips. Because you're going to gather it and you want all that poof. Because we love poofy things here. And for the organ organza, uh, I think I did one and a half times my waist measurements and then I cut it down the middle, I sewed those two together, blah, 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 blah. Okay, so to make the skirt, we're focusing on the bottom layer. I cut away from the salvage, not away from the fold. That way I didn't have to hem it, and Ichigo also has this like weird unhemmed dress look. What you could have done instead was like stuff your skirt too to get that circle, kind of like bloomers look, but I don't know, I wanted poof, so I did poof. And then you just do two long stitches across the top of it, and you gather it. Next up, I'm just sewing the skirt. So over here, I have the salvages together and I'm just gonna do a basting. Uh, so I don't have to hem it, I'm actually using the fold as the hem. But yeah, I'm just straight stitching it twice down using a basting stitch, and then I'll gather it. All right, so this is actually my second attempt on the skirt, and now that it is my second attempt, uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is put a zigzag stitch along the edge that I'm going to gather, or the edge that I cut, I should say, because it frays. It frays like crazy. So a zigzag stitch is gonna prevent it. And um, yeah, it's just an alternative. If you have a serger, definitely use that instead. Alrighty, so I finished doing the zigzag stitch and now right along it, I'm going to kind of do a base stitch at the like longest stitch length and do two of them. That way it gathers it and in case, you know, one breaks, I still have it. And um, yeah. And also you don't want to backstitch on these, you want them to be loose. That way you can gather. Um, I sewed down the two basting stitches and now if I go to the end of this, when you pull on the top two threads, it's actually going to gather it, which I can't do with one hand, so I'm sorry about that, but I'll show you what it looks like when it's all gathered. So for the waistband for the skirt, I bought one inch long elastic, which means when I cut out the waistband, I needed it to be at least two inches, three inches to be super safe. That way I have room for seam allowance by whatever your hip length is. If you do it by your waist length, like for me anyways, my waist is a lot smaller than my hips are, so I would not be able to get them above my hips if I made the casing for the for the waist belt too small. So I ended up going with my hip measurements and making sure like, yes, this would go over. And then the elastic, you can just do to your normal waist. But anyways, when you gather up your skirt, you wanna gather it. That way it's to the size of your waistband or to the size of your hips, since your waistband will be the length of your hips. Yay, okay, so I have the skirt gathered and how I did that was I pulled the two top strings, gathered it, and I also laid out the waistband so I knew how much to gather it. And the waistband is, uh, it's three inches because I got one inch thick uh, elastic to feed through. And then it's by my hip measurement, not my waist measurement. If you do it by your waist, you're never going to be able to get it on over your hips. Unless you like put in a zipper, but I'm too lazy for that. So yeah, so it's three by, um, I think like 31 or something, 32, I don't remember. And it's the same with the organza too. For me, I originally did it with one layer and I didn't like how it looked. I didn't think it was poofy enough. So I cut it in half and I turned it into two different layers. I didn't realize the organza would like poof up as much as it did. So it's a little bit shorter than the matte layer. But if you pull them together, they're actually the same length. With the organza, I did the exact same thing. I added in two basting stitches and now I'm going to gather that. So it's the same length as this guy. Uh, the organza piece is also only like one and a half times my waist, so it's much shorter. I might I might add on another piece. I have another piece cut organza of the same length, which would double it. I just want to see which one looks better first. So let's go we'll gather it and uh, yeah. And so I didn't have to hem the organza and have that seam. I actually have the salvage right at the bottom and then I cut off the little frizzies. So I cut off the fold. That way I was left with two pieces, sewed those two pieces together. Salvage is at the bottom, the salvage is my hem for the organza. And then you gather that one up and you just stitch it to the waistband. Alrighty, so I have the organza all gathered underneath the matte fabric, so that looks nice. And next up I'm actually going to sew on the waistband. So I'm taking this guy and I am just going to 
pin them down, stitch across the top of it here. Only the top of it, only on one side. You're not folding it over, just stitch across the top. But pin it first, because that's a lot of layers. You stitch the two gathered pieces to your waistband, you feed through the elastic, and then you just sew it closed. Alrighty, so I have the waistband all pinned on. If you really want to, you can actually sew this as a tunnel and then, you know, feed through the elastic, but I'm not doing that because I hate myself. But anyways, we're just gonna sew along this pin line down at the bottom. And, uh, yeah. Okay, so here I have everything attached, right? Next up, I'm going to take this right sides together and sew it down. What I'm thinking I might do is just sew the mat pieces together and then sew the orgasma, or, no, <laughs> and then sew the organza on top so it like doesn't restrict the poof. But uh, yeah, we're gonna sew it together now. Now, now that the skirt is closed, uh, we need to work on the waistband. So what I'm gonna do is fold this in half and then go all the way around the circle, around the edge, but I'm gonna leave a little gap opening. That way I can feed through the elastic. So you're sewing it down, not a full circle, but you know, almost a full circle, like a 95% of a circle. Okay, so remember how we left a hole in here? See, it's a hole. We're now going to take the elastic. Uh, the elastic should be the size of your waist, right? And you're gonna feed it through the hole all the way around. I can't really show you this with one hand, but kind of do that all the way around. Alrighty, now that it's fed through, I'm just going to sew these two elastic ends together and then close up the gap in this mat piece here. And then the skirt will be done. Guys, excuse me while I be a total dad for a moment and excuse the mess of the background, but she's so pretty. She is so pretty. Oh my god. Look at her. She's so beautiful. She's not done yet though. I still need to do the back and the, the, the leg thingy. But oh my god, she's so beautiful. 